Okay, peace. What's up, everyone? NC Reacts back here. You already know the vibes. Uh, we are back here with a fruit review. Uh, it's been a while since last time we did one. The last review that I did was the Adamoya. You can go check that review. I got the links up in the corner somewhere around there and now I've also got a playlist for all the uh, fruit reviews I've done this channel so yeah here we go I'm back with a uh, another exotic fruit um, you guys may know what this is I'm sure everyone mostly does this is the dragon fruit um, also known as the pataya now again, dragon fruit very exotic very tropical um, it grows on a cactus um, but it is indeed a fruit um, and it is actually native to Mexico and Central America. So this one's actually grown in Vietnam, which is another you know common spot. You know some parts of Southeast Asia, it's grown in um, parts of the U.S., Australia. Uh, now if you want to prep this fruit, which I'm about to do, you gotta wash outside with cold water. It's the first thing always dealt with produce, most produce. You gotta wash it with cold water, just rinse off any toxins, anything that could be on it that can make you sick. Um, and then what we're gonna do with it, we're gonna cut it lengthwise here. And then, you know, we're gonna kinda spoon inside out. And yeah, the seeds are edible that are in there. Um, the outside skin is actually inedible, so don't eat that, guys, please. It can also be known to be toxic, so please don't eat that. Okay, guys, I've just washed the uh, dragon fruit here with cold water. So now, what I'm gonna tell you guys is how do you know if this is ripe or not? Um, so if it's unripe, it's gonna be pretty green um, and very firm. So it's gonna be like very just firm to the touch. Uh, if it's ripe, if it's ready to be eaten, it's gonna be like a bright red or kind of almost purplish color. This one, it's kind of hard to see, but it's got that red. Um, it's gonna have some spots, which this one actually has a little bit more spots than usual. And you also want to have these wilting spikes here. You can see they're starting to wilt, wilt. That means it's ripe. Um, if it's overripe, it's going to have a lot of spots that are kind of brown. This, These aren't quite soft spots yet, so I wouldn't say it's completely overripe. And it's going to be just squishy all over. It's not that squishy. It's soft to the touch, which is what you want for just a perfect ripe one. It's not mushy. So that means it would, over, it would be overripe if it's really mushy. Uh, so price for it here in Canada, it's two ninety nine dollars per one per each. So that's quite expensive. Now, if you guys want to know any other facts, there's also a two other varieties of this, probably more, but the two most common ones, the yellow dragon fruit. Um, it was just yellow on the outside. It looks a little bit different than this one, um, and it's got a white pulp inside like this one. And there's also the red uh, dragon fruit, which is also red on the outside and it's got a red inside or purple sometimes it's very cool so anything else this is a very healthy fruit guys it's got low calories um, high in antioxidants high in fiber uh, high in magnesium it's decently high in iron it's pretty high in vitamins A and I think E it's also become a pretty just busy Instagram fruit in the last like five years it's been just all, all over Instagram people do a lot of stuff with it uh, you can put this in your salads, you know, your smoothies, cocktails, uh, desserts. Goes on a lot of desserts, a lot of salads. Um, even goes well with fish. I see a lot of people putting this with a lot of types of fish. So it's it's a very versatile fruit. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to cut into it, guys. I think you got all the information you need. Okay, guys, I'm doing one hand here, so I'm trying to... I already got the knife, and I'm just going to try and fit this all the way through. It's going to be a little dangerous. Okay, there we go. There's our dragon fruit, guys. It actually, it doesn't look overripe at all. If it also, guys, if it's really overripe, it's gonna be brown or a really dark gray on the inside. It's okay to see some gray spots. That's completely normal, like that. It's gonna be really dark gray or more so brown if it's actually overripe or moldy or anything. So, very little smell, guys. Really, almost smells like nothing. Um, kind of smells like if you guys have had that aloe drink. It smells like the aloe drink. So the way you're going to eat this, a lot of people like to slice it uh, and spoon it out, or you can just spoon it out and eat it. Um, some people like to carve out the skin and just kind of get it out, but I'm going to just grab a spoon and go at it. Alright, one sec. Yeah, so I'm going to try to drag it for now. Here we go. Let's spoon it out here. 
spoonful. It really doesn't taste like that much to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. People rave about dragon fruit. It just they never tastes like anything to me, really. It really I don't know how to just compare the taste to anything. Kind of reminds me of a pear taste, like it's really slightly sweet, mostly water, and it's got kind of like a a pear texture to it. That's kind of the only thing I can compare it to. But there's not really another flavor that tastes like this. It's a very bland kind of for fruit. Not much flavor. Um, again, dragon fruit. I think it's always been a good garnished fruit. Like the one you put on the side of the plates of other desserts, you put them in fruit salad to kind of take on the flavor of other fruits. Like, it's never been the standout fruit, like a mango or like a pineapple or anything like that. It's tree fruit probably one of the most, most aesthetically pleasing fruits out there, um, in terms of the in terms of the exterior at least. Um, even the interior is very unique looking, the seeds look really cool, uh, but it's a cool fruit. I died. Maybe get it sometimes if I'm really in the mood for like a fruit salad or as a nice garnish, but other than that, yeah, um, try it out if you guys have it. I'm sure it's probably better when you get it, you know, kind of locally sourced near you if you're in one of those areas that has dragon fruits. Um, yeah, I'm gonna head out for now, so check out my other videos, guys. Check out the fruit playlist, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And so, we have to peace. See you. Like facts, some bitches like cat. I'll be whipping in her ear, I'm a dog, I'm a man.